ETV. Yes, yes, it is officially that time of year for NBA 2K12. We just got our version in a few days early before it's released and um, been playing it all day long up here at the Ski Lodge and gonna give you our opinions, comparisons to last year, and ultimately if you should cop it or not. Stay tuned right here, Ski TV. K12 came in the mail. I was actually um, a little surprised. I didn't realize it was coming out so early. The good folks at 2K12 actually came over here about a month ago to the ski lodge and gave me a hands-on preview of um, what was almost the final build. And I loved the game. And this just showed up, and it led me to realize that you know it's kind of surprising that they're releasing it so early. The basketball season isn't scheduled to start until top of November, obviously every year. This year is probably going to be even later with a lockout, and. Um, that's why it's kind of interesting as well that this year, last year obviously Michael Jordan was on the cover, this year there's three covers. We have the Jordan edition, but there's also Larry Legend and Magic. So three versions of 2K12, which kind of shows where the focus is on the game this year, which is purely, on, not purely, but extensively on Legends, which we'll get into in for a second. Now the first thing you notice is great presentation from the moment that you turn on your console and it has a great montage of classic players with new players and you know really steps the bar up from even where 2k11 was last year which was one of the best games getting to 2k11 best basketball game probably of all time one of the best video games ever which is good and bad because it's a lot to live up to and it's tough to make improvements when you already set the bar so high shout out to the good people at 2k sports but um initially one of the negative things is that all the rosters and right now and until the lockout ends. One good thing to combat that though is that 2K12 is actually offering the most content updates of any sports game ranging from shoes to player models and court floors. So as soon as the lockout's done, all the rookies, all the real players, all the transactions, all the changes, all the player grades, all the shoes, everything is going to be totally brand new. So. Um, if you think the lockout's going to end this year, which hopefully it does sooner than later, then you have nothing to worry about. Not only do they have Jordan again this year, they went back and added 15 of the most famous basketball players of all time, ranging from Larry Legend, Magic, who are obviously on the cover. You got Big O. You have pretty much anybody. You got I saw Akeem Olajuwon in there at first glance, Patrick Ewing. And you can go back, and they have the teams recreated and play is not just Jordan anymore, but some of these other classic NBA teams with some of the most legendary players of all time. Really cool feature, and you notice it instantly from the, the screen that you lock on. And now one cool thing when you actually play these, these NBA legend games, depending on what era it is, whether it was in the black and white days of Bill Russell, whether it was in the 80s with Larry Bird, and you kind of, you have color, but it's still a lot like a yellow tint over it. It really adds to it. It's cool presentation-wise, so you feel like you're not watching Larry Bird with all the, the stuff of today, but Larry Bird in the 80s, which is how you want to play him. You don't want to put him in today's environment. And that even goes down to the clothes, the gear that people are wearing, the way the court looks. So 2K has done a great job at recreating that old school legendary feel. So shout to them for that. Now when you get to the actual game itself, the gameplay has even been improved from last year. Instantly you notice on defense, there's some defensive assist things. So you can kind of see what player you're supposed to be guarding. Um, it breaks down some of the zone coverages a little easier. I found that um, some of the post-up moves were a lot easier to activate. Um, the players even look better than last year. They still some weird parts of them where you'll look at them and they look kind of like aliens or mummies or something crazy. It's, it's better than how it was last year. Like if you saw Kobe last year, it was kind of scary, but they've definitely stepped it up. Still has room for improvement, but we're, we're kind of nitpicking. The overall presentation is amazing. Now one negative about the legendary mode is that you can't take these legendary teams when you play online, which kind of sucks because you want to play as, you know, your, your Bulls, your Celtics, your classic Lakers teams online in, in those modes, but it's currently only open for current teams so let's see if they can hopefully patch that in the future that's one thing that I think a lot of people would enjoy and was disappointing from playing it but still not anywhere near a deal breaker for the game 
Now back to some of the actual gameplay. 2K12 is just up to what 2K11 had. Everything from making substitutions on the fly has become a lot easier. Last year it was great, but you'd still have to scroll down position by position. This year, every position, like they're assigned when you're um, making a direct pass to the players, you can easily change the point guard just by hitting A and it'll rotate through all the point guards. B, you'll change all your shooting guards. So you don't have to scroll up and down, which makes it, at first it was kind of tough getting used to the first couple games, but after a while, you definitely save a lot of the time. You can also do more plays on the run and just tons of little subtle improvements that you'll notice over the course of time. So again, it's not a complete revamp, but it's not like you really wanted a complete revamp to 2K11 with it being so good. I really don't know what else they could have done. My closing comments for NBA 2K12 are it's definitely improved upon 2K11, which was the best basketball game ever. So I guess you can go ahead and say 2K12 to me is the, the best basketball game ever. One of the best sports and video games ever. Um, it's not the huge jump that, that 2K11 had last year from, from 2K10, but it, it, it's tough for 2K. They have a lot in their hands because they got so much right with 2K11. So look, if you have 2K11, and you're thinking of upgrading to 2K12. If you're a diehard basketball fan, if you just play 2K11 like crazy, if you always have to have the latest updates, rocks, rosters, newest features, if you're bored with it and want to play other classic players, it is a must cop. If you're just a casual gamer, just play a little bit for fun. You're not really, you know, trying to get every game and care about all the details. You're good with 2K11 because it's such a good game, which is, you know, the, the thing 2K12 I think is going to face the most, especially with people not being that excited about basketball until the season starts. And with the lockout looming, there might not be a season. But um, all in all, if you have to have the latest, if you're an NBA fan, if you've played out 2K11, 2K12 is a must buy, so don't get it twisted by my review. DJ Ski coming through early again with another video game review right here tune in every single day you guys know how we do we out of here i'm gonna go back to uh playing with my team shout out to all my nba homies too um i'm whooping ass with the homie kd by the way the thunder are real in this shout out to james harden too i'll see you let's go